Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am It's Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 2, Episode 2 of Avatar The Last Airbender called The Cave of the Two Lovers. So we start off with Aang and, and Katara are training and a bunch of hippies interrupt and they had this slight tone that they're stoned the entire time as well. <laughs> but um, I actually I didn't really mind. I thought it was really funny and hysterical. Then we cut to Rizuko and Iroh are struggling, living, they're not used to being a quote unquote peasants because um, they're so used to having to get everything they want. Now they got to scrounge for other stuff. So Iroh found this plant um, that's either a, either is used for like really good tea or it's poison that'll, that'll off you. So he's like, I don't know what to do. And so Zuko goes fishing. Then we cut to where the um, hippies slash nomads tell stories about the secret pass, how to get to Omashu, and they sing about it. And Team Avatar's like, uh, we're just going to try to fly there. So, but thanks anyway. Uh, that was a huge you note know, because they run to the Fire Nation and they get struck down so hard. <laughs> and they're like, cigarette tunnel this way, let's go, let's just do it. And so uh, they get into the cave, and then we cut to where Zuko returns back with the, the tiniest fish ever. And um, Ira was like, so I tried that tea. Yeah, it was the um, poison flower, so they had to go get that checked out. So Zuko goes to find help, and then we cut to where Team Artar and the hippies are in the tunnel. And he, as they're approaching, he's like, oh, by the way, it's not a tunnel, it's a labyrinth, and there is a curse. And Sokka's like, what? <laughs> what do you mean a curse? Then um, he says, but hey, why don't you trust in love? You'll get through it, man. You'll just get through it. And uh, then we cut over the Fire Nation, trap them in there, and Appa is not having it at all. And basically, they have these little light... Uh, torches that last 10 hours because they have like five of them and this lady was trying to light them all and Sokka's like no 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 that's not how it works so uh then we cut to where Ira gets healed and the girl invites them for dinner and because it's like roast duck so um oh uh, yeah um <laughs> Zuko's name is Lee nicknamed Junior and Ira's name is Mushi <laughs> <laughs> and so anyway they stay for dinner and then uh, we cut to where back in the tunnel where um, Sokka was trying to do a map but they kept going around in circles so the, like, everything was changing and then the girl tells a story uh, so then we go back to dinner where the girl tells a story about Zuko um, of her struggles to Zuko at dinner and how like um, she hasn't seen her dad in many years and he's like I'm the same and she's like are they fighting the war anyway yeah and um then we cut to where um back at the tunnel the wolf bats attack them and then we cut to where Aang saves them but Appa again freaks out and that's um created a huge collapse and so Sokka is with the hippies and Momo and it's um, Appa, Aang, and Katara on the other side. So they are going to, to also have to split up. And so, um, Zuko is having, um, like a quiet moment outside and the girl joins her and she wanted to touch his scar and he was like, uh, don't do that. And he's, then she said, well, I've been burned as well. And she was like her really, um, uh, her leg and how she got scarred and that just kind of resonated with him because I feel like he really hasn't had anyone else to relate to as far as being burned by someone from the Fire Nation. So, um, I feel like that affected him a lot. And, uh, then we cut to where Sokka is very pissed with the Nomads. <laughs> because he's, he's, it's just not him. He's more of like a serious type person and they're more laid back and go with the flow. And he's very like on schedule for the most part. Then we cut to where Aang found the tomb um, of the two lovers and of their story. So the bit, they met on a mountain and they're from two separate villages that hate each other. And basically, um, they learn earthbending from the um, 
Mole Badger, I feel like that's what it's called. Anyway, um, the original Earthbender said they were from them. But one day, the man didn't show up because he died in the war. So the woman ended the entire war. And so, um, declared the war over and made them have peace. And so they created a city, um, and named it, uh, Oma for her and Shu for him. So the great city of the Mashu. So that's how that got created. And so, um, then it says, um, Lost in the Brightest is in the Dark. So... Anyway, then um, we go back to Sokka's very mad at the new mask because like, he's like, because the main dude's like, I've been having to play for like an hour. Because <laughs> Sokka was complaining, like, I'm the only one that's thinking. He's like, well, I've had one for like an hour. And Sokka's like, of course you should say it. <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> and then we go back to where Kara suggests kissing Aang and it gets very awkward because Aang's is obviously into that because he's been crush on her the entire freaking episode and I thought it was funny. It's like kissing. And then Katara starts to go back on it and, she, and he gets like, oh I wouldn't want to kiss you. And then he just got very tongue tied and then he said like it was between kissing you and dying which was obviously the wrong thing to say. It was just a funny moment so they, um, Katara kind of storms off. And it gets kind of awkward. Then Zuko and Iroh um, steal the bird. Z it was Zuko's plan. Iroh didn't really want to do it, but he still went along with it. And the girl knows it. And then we cut to where um, the light's about to go out with Katara and Aang. And so they revisit the kissing idea. I don't know if they actually kiss or not because the light went out. So who freaking knows, actually? And, um,. Then the light went out, and then you have the glow in the dark crystals, so they follow the crystals out. And then we cut to where the bats are running away from the mole, the moles. And so Sokka plays music to calm them down, and so then he gets other people to start singing, and they get out on them. And then, the funny thing is, was Aang asked the, uh, no, uh, the nomads, like, are you coming with us? And went, no. And then, okay, bye. <laughs> and, um, it was a... <sighs> Then, anyway, so they travel and they get to Amashu, but they got taken over by the Fire Nation. And that was the end of the episode. I gave this episode a strong A. It was so funny, and it was, it was like a filler episode, but not really, because they're going away somewhere, and they just met these hippies. And I thought it was funny. It wasn't as annoying as The Great Divide, but it was still... It was still fun. I, I really enjoyed it. So anyway, um, that's what I'm doing for this video. So this video, please give it a like. Comment down below. Tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree or disagree? Tell me your thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe because it does help out the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody. Ooh, I need to do some lighting for the next one. All right, bye.